Speaking of the Texas governor, he was here in El Paso today as he held a roundtable this afternoon to talk about the economy and business growth right here in our region. KTSM 9 News reporter Bree Lockhart tells us what the governor had to say. Governor Greg Abbott touched on many topics, including taxes, an increase in jobs and small businesses. He says business is booming in El Paso right now. And as we gather in El Paso today, more Texans are earning a paycheck than ever before in a history. According to Abbott, a new Schneider Electric facility will add 400 new jobs in El Paso and says it will turn out to be the largest manufacturing facility in Schneider's portfolio. Additionally, he says even more jobs are coming. Also, a new distribution center and warehouse uh, for Marshall's clothing stores will eventually add more than 1,100 new jobs. According to Abbott, Texas is sitting on a budget surplus of $27 billion. But we need to remember whose money that really is. That money is the taxpayer's money. So what I am suggesting is that we provide at least half of that money back to taxpayers with the largest property tax cut in the history of Texas. He says the goal is lasting property tax relief for Texas. Abbott has been the governor of Texas since 2014 and is up for re-election this November against Democratic opponent Beto O'Rourke. And we will continue to have coverage on both candidates as the election becomes closer. Bree Lockhart, KTSM 9 News.